Welcome back, everybody, to another cryptocurrency news article. This one comes from the block, and Decentraland will now let you become a virtual landlord. That's right. This metaverse will allow you to rent out your space inside there for Mana, which is the platform's main cryptocurrency. And Mana is also an ERC-20 token, so in order to converge and move these tokens around, you do need Ethereum to be able to move it. So yeah, let's go over this article on how you can be that virtual landlord owner. <laughs> virtual world platform Decentraland now allows landowners to rent out their property. The new system lets owners of Decentraland land NFTs, <laughs> I always get tongue twisted there, called land parcels to find tenants in what the coming say is a secure Trustless process. Virtual land owners can establish the cost of renting per day and the desired duration of the lease, and the tenant pays the owner through MANA, Decentraland's main cryptocurrency. Now, once the rental period expires, the virtual landlord must manually decide whether to claim their property or put it up for rent again. Decentraland said a potential use case for the system would be a virtual DJ who could rent a space as a nightclub for performances. The Decentraland Foundation, which oversees the platform, will store the owner and tenant's data off-chain as well as on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, rentable land of the virtual kind has been possible since June through the ERC-4907 tokenomics, the Ethereum standard that allows rentable NFTs unlike Decentraland's rental system. This token standard allows land automatically revert back to the owner once the rental period expires. Now, while the token standard can be applied to items beyond just virtual spaces, the firm behind the standard creation Double Protocol told the block that it envisions metaverse land rentals as one of the key markets for rentable NFTs. The average cost of decentralized parcels right now is around $2,380, making it one of the more valuable uh, land plots compared to sandbox NFT worlds and other Web3 virtual worlds, according to the block's data and dashboard. So yeah, it is one of the pricier ones out there, but I haven't seen a lot more better metaverses out there, a little bit more fun. I, again, I have seen uh, like concerts go on through the central land. Uh, there, was power, there was one powered by Theta that was pretty fun and cool, but yeah, uh, I just don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> is this like a step forward to eventually like, uh, NFTizing your real world property and then using that this technology to rent it out to people. And in case it doesn't, you just reclaim it. I don't know. I don't know. But let me know what you think about this article, guys. Uh, also, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't done so. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.